Hey guys, I wanted to talk about this little Adafruit Huzzah 32 um, microprocessor I got. Uh, basically, just the, kind of the reasoning for this and what I'm using it for is uh, I've always needed something when I do the, you know, my ambient um, improvised music. I've always needed something to to be able to turn the input on and off because if you leave your, your mic live the whole time when you're trying to loop stuff, you get feedback, you get random little noises in the background. Uh, you know, if your chair squeaks, then that loops over and over again throughout your, your ambient soundscape and that kind of stuff. So uh, if you have a guitar, you know, you don't have that problem because you're just using pickups on your guitar. But for anyone who, who loops stuff uh, acoustically with a microphone, it's something you have to kind of deal with. And the way I've always done it in the past is I had this this uh, homemade uh, USB MIDI controller. Um, this is disassembled now, but there used to be a, a, a wire coming out of here and it was just a, a USB gamepad that I disassembled and soldered the buttons into and then in, in the computer you can use software to convert uh, the USB gamepad messages into MIDI messages and then you can use a, a, a MIDI loopback software in the computer to get those into whatever software uh, you're using for your actual looping and that kind of stuff and this has worked for a long time, I had this for a number of years uh, and I had it kind of painted on the top there uh, for fun, but it's a little thick, and uh, when you when you step on this thing over and over again as you're trying to loop stuff, uh, it's, a, it's a little too high for, for your foot to be comfortable. And then on top of that, I always wanted something that was wireless, uh, just because it's neater and it's it's easier to move around and, and, and figure out where you're going to put it when you're, when you're uh, making music. So um, what I found was... Uh, this this little Adafruit, it's called an Adafruit Huzzah 32. Uh, it's based on the the ESP32 board, which came out last year. So the first thing that it does is it's it's wireless, which is awesome. Uh, and then the second cool thing it also does is it sends OSC messages. Uh, OSC is the Open Sound Control. Uh, you can think of it kind of like MIDI, but it runs over a uh, uh, your your network connection. You know your 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 Wi-Fi in your house or uh, a network cable plugged into your switch or your router or something. Oh, it's also can be battery powered, so you don't have to have it plugged into USB. So it's completely portable. Um, and then one even cooler thing it does is it, it has a, a capacitive touch uh, sensor. So if some of these pins here you can actually use, uh, and if you solder something like this to, to the board, or in this case I just have a little mini breadboard, um, Basically, you can come up with a way so that if all you have to do is tap on a couple leads, and when you tap on those leads, as I'm tapping on these, if you look in your software that you're using, I'm using Plog Bedool, uh, you can see that you can, uh, in this case, turn an input on and off. Uh, you could do any any number of things you want. Uh, here's the actual output of the of the OSC messages as they come in. So uh, basically, yeah, uh, all you have to do is figure out how to strap this thing onto your trombone in a, a convenient way, and then you can wirelessly uh, control, uh, you know, any parameter you want in your um, in your software as long as it supports OSC. So I'm going to do that and then kind of show you real quick how it's wired up. Okay, so basically, um, there's three parts. There's the the little switch thing I made just out of a this is a, a plastic clip you could put. Um, on your wall or something to keep your network cables clean or just a cable management clip. Uh, and then the other part is obviously the battery, it's a 2500 milliamp battery. And then here's the uh, the Huzzah 32 board itself by Adafruit, it's about 20 bucks. Uh, I got mine with the headers, you can't see them, but they're, uh, they're stuck into this little mini breadboard I have. Um, the little breadboard I think was between five and ten dollars, you get them in a pack of like six. Or, uh, Arduino stuff and then I have this just random uh, I think this was for a pair of wi uh, uh, Bluetooth headphones it's just a little pouch and no one's using it so I grabbed it and then I kind of put together stuff like this so yeah everything's in here and then it closes up and then I'm gonna go put it on the horn and uh, kind of show you how that goes and then make a little bit of music so this is how I got it all together uh, here's a little pouch you can see I just um, used a a little velcro strap um, to get it on there. I wanted something that that I can remove and, and, and take off pretty quickly. This takes about a minute to put on. Um, and here's the uh, here are the wires. They're kind of uh, they're kind of just uh, 
wrapped around here and then come up and I have this little clip it mounts perfectly on the the barrel of my horn uh, from this angle there it is so basically uh, when I hold the horn just like anyone does um, all I got to do is tap that thing and when I do that it triggers uh, the input on the software and uh, yeah it's very it's very non-invasive um, it works really great so I'm gonna make a little music with it Thank you. 